Hello, I'm Gene Parker, food animal field veterinarian for Oklahoma State University. We're here today at the OSU Meat Goat Boot Camp to talk about aging a goat. So uh, why would it be important to know the age of a goat? Well, we really don't care how old the goat is. What we're actually trying to determine is how long this goat is going to be useful to us in a pasture environment. In many species, the reproductive capacity of the animal is limited by its genetics and that determines how long it's going to function in the herd for us. In other words, if a cow doesn't get pregnant because she's too old, then that's an animal that we'd usually cull out of the herd. However, in goats, their reproductive efficiency isn't what limits their productive lifespan in the herd. It's usually their teeth. So why would their teeth limit this? Because if an animal can't gather enough forage to keep itself in adequate body condition, then it won't cycle reproductively, get pregnant, and raise a set of kids in good shape. So its ability to harvest forage is directly related to its teeth or dentition. Now a goat is a ruminant that has a hard palate on top. There aren't any teeth on the top, very similar to a cow. A goat only has teeth on the bottom. So it's necessary that these teeth be able to pinch the forage up between the hard plate as the goat rips it loose from the ground and then consumes it so that it can adequately graze and keep itself in good body condition. The thing about goats is that uh, they're very much like human kids in that they're born with a set of teeth that we call the baby teeth, the milk teeth, or deciduous teeth. And these teeth erupt shortly after birth and then we get an adult set that comes in that starts approximately at a year of age. It's got four sets of teeth on the bottom and each one of these sets erupts in a timely manner usually in about of a year. The central pair of incisors which are the center two, these erupt approximately at one year of age. You can see these are erupted and fully up. The second set of incisors erupts and is completely up at about two years of age the third set at three, and the fourth set at four. So when we have a goat that's got a full mouth of eight adult teeth, we know that it's a four or five year old and call it a full mouth. After that, we use guesstimations of wear and, and factors of the teeth that tell us how long those teeth have been there, how far they're wearing, and how long they'll be actively able to gather forage and stay in the herd. So I really don't care if this goat is a eight-year-old or a five-year-old, if she's got a good set of teeth and she can adequately harvest forage, stay in good enough body condition that her ovary cycle, that she gets pregnant and raises a set of kids, we just need a good mouth and we need to know how long they're going to last for us. This goat, as you can see, has four sets of incisors. The middle two sets are her adult teeth that have come through and you see the very small teeth on the side that are the deciduous or baby teeth that she was born with. The central pair comes in at one year of age. This one comes in at two. So this goat right here would be a two year old plus goat. You can see the teeth are very large. They're very sharp on top because they're newly emerged and erupted and they haven't worn down. You'll see that the roots or the necks on them are very stout, very large. None of these teeth are loose. And also there aren't any gaps in between the teeth. As a goat ages, you'll see that the necks become very large and, and thin at the bottom, which creates gaps in between them, and then they'll actually start to lose teeth. And all these factors affect the ability of her to harvest forage and keep herself in good shape and be a reproductive female in the herd. This is a goat that we have here that has advanced age. And as we see by her dentition, The central pair of incisors here, she's actually lost them. We would call this a broken mouth goat. So she's just got three pair on each side. The other thing is if we'll see, the teeth are worn flat on top. They're not sharp like newly erupted teeth. The necks are long and thin down here at the bottom and we can actually get a tooth that's loose. And if you look at it from the side, you'll notice that the teeth will flatten out more horizontally than the newly erupted vertical teeth. All these signs of advanced wear might lead one to put this dough on the cull list. 
especially after the drought situation that we've had and limited forage resources in the pasture, this doe can't harvest forage as efficient as a solid mouth doe to keep her body weight on so that she'll cycle, get pregnant, and raise a set of kids. Her ability to, to harvest forage is reduced and she can't compete against goats with a full mouth. So this is one reason that we cull goats with a bad mouth. Once again, we're not concerned with how old she actually is. We don't need to know her birthday. We just need to know how much longer she's going to be useful harvesting forage, having kids, and be a reproductive member of the, on the ranch. <laughs>